Hi journal crafters! Um, today I'm going to do a tutorial and it's my first one so I hope this is, will be clear for you. But I want to show you three different ways that I alter the little golden book pages to fit in to the book once it's been altered. And uh, I know there's lots of people who have ideas on this and they're all great and I'm you know but I'm just going to give you my take on it I don't like to do a lot of measuring I like things to be quick and easy and uh, my joy comes from making the ephemera and choosing the pages to put into it and making the little golden book pages is sort of like low in my enjoyment list so I try to make this simple for myself uh, what you have to do, or what I do, is the first thing is I trim off a quarter of an inch on the outside of the page. Not the page is folded, but on the outside. I trim off a quarter of an inch. And then I fold over the inside page, or the folded side, about a half an inch. And I make sure it's folded down. And then on all of them, no matter how I finish them off I glue right on the inside the very inside of the spine area like that I like to use um, the glue I use is Eileen's um, tacky quick dry tacky glue and I like quick quick dry there's quite a few good products out there it's just the one I happen to have so I have the have all my pages then glued right at that point. Now we have this flap to contend with. Probably the fastest one of the three is the one in which I use washi tape. So I will need to then just glue this flap down just like this here. And then I always like to glue my washi tape down if I want it to be permanent. So I'll run a bead of glue right down the seam. So what I want to cover up with the washi tape are these holes in the seam. Or most of the seam. It won't be every inch of it, but it'll be most of it. Just so that it has you know, a more aesthetic look to it. So we'll just put this down like so, get that even, there. So that is the first way, and then just, you know, cut off the, the pieces there. So, you know, this is very simple, it now will fit into your book easily, and um, you still have a nice fold there just to use to sew something in. The next way is I next way I do this is if I want to make an additional pocket. So it's been folded down, it's been glued on the seam part. I take an eight and a half by eleven coffee dyed tea dyed piece of paper. And the first thing I do is I glue up just the flap part of this. So I'm just gluing up that flap part there. I want to align the bottom of this page with the bottom of the golden book page. Put it right up there next to that seam and just fold it over like so. All right, so we're not going to worry about the overlap up there right now. All right, then I glue down this part of the seam here. Just like this. And I take the paper and I fold it over to just almost, almost to the very edge but not quite I leave just a just a hair there and then fold it down like so 
And then you're going to want to cut off. I'll get out my. Uh, oh, where did I put my cutter? I'm sorry. Here it is. Okay. Then you're going to just line it up here. You're going to slice off overage there. And in case, you know, it got glued on crooked, no problem. Just slice it off there. And now, yes, and I forgot a part. I am so sorry. Um, uh, yeah, made a mistake. Uh, also, I put glue on the bottom part here just like this which you can do afterwards is no 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 problem it just would have been easier if i'd done it while i was flapping it down then you have a pocket up here so now you can put like you know a tag in there if you want um you can um put those little half holes punches to make it look like a tag you can also sew this of course you wouldn't want to glue it um, but you can you can sew this together you'd have to kind of hold the pieces together and sew them around but that's possible too and I've, I've done it that way as well so that's one a third um, second way now a third way is that whenever you uh, cut a 12 by 12 sheet of paper to make a page for the book you've always got this like four inch by 12 inch piece left over right so that's the piece i want to use up because it's you know scrap right so then this is much like what we just did with the page i do this i Put glue down here like this and then I take the paper and decide which side you know the side I want to show I put it down onto the page I line up the bottom fold this over and then I take Take it and fold it up again, almost to the very end, but not quite, because I want room for my needle and thread to kind of sit in there, you know, easily. Now, I, you know, I could have cut this off before I folded it. That's true, and then it would have a bit of bigger scrap, but I'm okay with the way this is. Then, of course, you're going to need to, I'm going to need to glue the sides here so we'll glue here then kind of eyeball it up to have glue right right at where you're going to cut it off at then come down here and we're going to run glue in this area okay oops now fold it back down take it over to your cutter slice that part off and then ever so slightly just take off like a hair on the folded side and so now you have a pot oops well you gotta wait for it to dry but you will have a pocket to put or a tuck spot to put a little something in. You could go, you know, depending on what is here, um, if you didn't mind covering it up, you can even glue it, glue here to here to here, and then have a second place to slip in. But this is, um, this is the way you can do it so that you can also see the pages. And so when you put it into your book then, let's put all the pages together. And see what we have here. Okay. So, so we have um, the pages that flip like this, like this, 
and then you'll have the pocket and then you'll have another tuck spot pocket there so that's how i do it just to make it quick and easy and i don't have to fuss about it so thanks so much for watching i really appreciate it and um hopefully i'll be doing more of these bye bye for now